Is Nikon going full frame mirrorless? Hey everybody, welcome back to the vlog. So today I want to talk about Nikon a little bit. Um, everything's been a lot of negative, negative, negative on Nikon's side. And as of the advent of the D850, I think that's kind of pulled them out of the doldrums, so to speak, um, in the community, you know, with the photography community in general, especially with the pros. The pros are feeling a little bit better about Nikon than they were for quite some time with all the recalls and stuff going on, the layoffs and whatnot. So, um, I'm kind of excited. I saw some rumors come through and I saw some people talking about it and there was a translation um, of an interview that was done with the Nikon's head or director of their R&D department. And he was quoted on saying, and I'm gonna read it exactly. He said, full frame is the trend. If Nikon will go mirrorless, it will be full frame. So that right there, is absolutely 100% telling on what Nikon is going to be doing. Um, yes, of course, you can always get bad information. There could be a lot of stuff that, you know, people are just putting out there into the rumor mill. But I really do believe that to be the case. I think that Nikon recognizes that the movement is away from the smaller sensors and to the larger sensor, period. I spoke about this for many years now. I said, you know, bigger is still better. Yes, you can get really amazing pictures with micro four thirds. Absolutely, absolutely, guys. But you're still going to have more pixels to play with, to push around, to edit with, with a larger sensor. I personally believe Micro Four Thirds is going to go the way of the dinosaur and APS-C will be the bottom, let's say, of the rung and then we'll go full frame, which will be the norm, especially when it comes to professionals and prosumer. And then we're going to see some more advanced pros with medium um, format mirrorless as well as the full frame uh, mirrorless. Sony's been doing it for a while now, guys. I mean, Sony really is getting it right. You know, all their A7 line, now we have an A9. The, the idea of mirrorless full frame just simply makes sense, all right? And Canon hasn't done it yet. Nikon hasn't done it yet. So one other part of this interview I found really fascinating. Let me read it to you word for word. It says, Nikon customer base is very broad. From novice to enthusiast to prosumer to professional, that's Nikon's advantage. Olympus, Sony, and Fujifilm can only cover a small part of that. So far, there is no professionals using their products. Interesting statement, right guys? Interesting. So when they develop products, even like retro style, they only try to meet these people and that's only what they can do. Their customer base is limited anyway, so they have limited view in developing products. Now, of course, this is a translation. It's probably not word for word. So what is interesting here is just how Nikon is viewing their competition, how they view the industry as a whole. They're not putting Canon into this bag, so to speak, but they're putting obviously Sony, Olympus, and Fuji as companies that are addressing, let's say, non-professionals, okay? Whereas today, you could talk to a lot of pros and they'll say, hey, you know, Sony's doing it right. There, a lot of pros are going their way, but Nikon doesn't view it that way. They do not view them as a professional camera company as of yet. Why that is, I really don't know. So back to the idea where he's saying, listen, full frame is the trend. If Nikon is going to go mirrorless, which they are, we're going to have to go full frame, which to me is really exciting. I don't know about to you guys, but I just think that's great. That means that we're gonna see some competition 
against Sony's, let's say A7, A9 line, we'll see a Nikon competitor that will be a mirrorless full frame. And I would probably say not too long from now. As soon as Canon sees this, they're gonna put something out there immediately. Canon is one of those companies that can just sit back on their laurels and do nothing because they have the market share, right? So they can wait for everyone else to flounder around, right? And just try to get it right. And once they get it right and target something correctly, let's call it, Canon will develop something in a quarter. It'll be done, okay? That's just what they do, all right? They're notorious for doing it. You know, they've been sitting back for so long and the pros are like, oh my God, are we gonna come up with anything new? No, it's the same old, same old, over and over and over. It's the whole idea of iteration instead of just making something new, you know, that innovative something. It just doesn't happen over there at Canon as of late. So anyways, I do think that this is going to be fantastic for Nikon. The Nikon pros are going to be excited. I know there's Nikon fan base out there that's just ecstatic by this being leaked out. Um, so I'm excited for them. I really want to see a competitor to Sony. I think Sony's just been eating the lunch of all the rest of the people out there when it comes to mirrorless. And I think a lot of you guys will agree with me. Um, so we'll see what ends up happening. So that's it for today. I just wanted to give you that information. I really think that Nikon is doing it right. They're really getting it together. Together. So now we're starting to get see less of the whole idea of constantly getting stuff recalled. You know, we're not talking about any more layoffs. We just heard in the news that NASA just picked up 50 or 60 Nikon cameras that they're going to be using. You know, things are looking up. That's fantastic. That's really, really good. I'm really happy. So anyways, guys, that's it. I'm out of here for yet another vlog. As always, if you enjoy my content, throw me a thumbs up. That would be awesome. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button so you can get all of my content when it becomes available. And don't forget to head over to my website, jchristina.com, where you can find a lot of photography tools that I've invented for photographers just like you. That's it, guys. I'm out of here. We'll see you in the next vlog. Take care.